When I first gained control of the main character in Shelter 2, my first thought was, this feels awful. And the reason for that is because of the camera controls on the mouse. So let me see if I can demonstrate the problem that I have with the controls. There seems to be two major problems with the camera controls on the mouse. One is that there's momentum to your camera movements. So when you go to make a move, the camera will continue moving after you've stopped. And the other, and probably more serious issue, is that there seems to be negative acceleration to your movements. So the faster that you move the mouse, the less the camera actually moves. So if I go really fast, the camera basically doesn't move at all. And if you go really slow, it actually moves very fast. So the end result is this very laggy, smoothed over kind of soupy mess that just feels really, really bad. After experiencing this, I went into the options menu looking for something to change to fix it. Thinking maybe there'd be a mouse acceleration option or something of the sort. But unfortunately there is not. There's no way to change it, that's just how it is with a mouse. So then the next thing I thought of was, okay, maybe this is a game that's intended to be played on a gamepad, right? So I took out my Xbox 360 controller, plugged it in, and found that it didn't actually work. I tried moving around in the menus, I tried moving around my character in the world, nothing worked. So I unplugged it, replugged it back in, I restarted the game, still didn't work. I went looking around the Steam forums to see if anybody else had had this issue, and I found somebody who had, and a developer responding to the issue. They said, We wanted every controller to work with the game, and to do so, we ask of you to keybind the keys on your controller in the controller settings. And sure enough, I went back into the game, into the keybinds, and it turns out the controller is actually recognized by the game. It's just that by default it's not bound to anything and you have to manually set every single control. And that is frankly completely ridiculous. Allowing you to rebind the controls on the controller is a great thing, but not providing a preset is completely absurd. It puts a responsibility on me to figure out a good control scheme. Which is completely absurd, because I've just started the game, I don't know what a good control scheme is, because I'm not even familiar with the controls and the kind of actions that you're expected to do. The people who would be best able to make a good control scheme, to make a good preset for a controller, would be the people that actually made the game. So I spent about 5-10 to 10 minutes attempting to come up with some good keybinds for the gamepad myself. And doing so was a very iterative process, because I'm switching from one peripheral to an entirely different one, so I'm rebinding literally all of the controls. So to do that, I'm going to make some changes, I'm going to go back into the game, see how it feels, go back into the options, make some changes. And unfortunately, to do such a thing is very agonizing. And the reason for that is because it's very slow to enter and exit the options menu for the controls. So if you want to go into the controls, it's, it's kind of reasonably fast. It's two clicks. However, you have to wait for the fade to complete every single time. So if you make a change here, and then you want to get back into the game to see how it feels, I'm going to mash escape at the, at the moment, which is going to try to take me back in the menus as fast as possible. You have to pop out of three different menus and wait for the fade every single time. So I want to change something. Settings, wait. Input camera, wait. Make a change. Escape, wait. Escape, wait. Escape. Hey, now I can test it. It's completely agonizing. Games are, for the most part, meant to be played. And when the simple physical act of just interacting with a game feels bad, it really detracts from the experience.